Did Colin it? was high fiving every time a bit fitted together. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Greetings, RC Model Geeks! Freak Say, out! Yeah, freak out! Ding, yes, ding, Mad ding, Collins ding, here. Ding, ding. Hi, guys! <laughs> so, yes, it's part four, part five, mm -hmm. even. Part five of the SIG Wonder Build. Not at such a mouse, about the mouse. Not, not, mm -hmm. not at such a mouseful. No, or not a mouse such full. a mouseful as the, uh, <laughs> the, the cup or whatever it was. Well,. Got the knife in hand, you know what this means? Oh shit, that means I'm going to... Postman's been. Oh yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here it is, it's it's Hobby King. A day late. Mm. <laughs> Good old Hobby King. Let's see what's in the box, yeah. shall we? Yeah, open her up and uh, let us not allow the suspense kill us any longer. Let us. I haven't right. got a clue what it is. No, you haven't, have you? No, it's a big box. I bet it's full of air. Because you've been away so much. Right? Yes. Yeah, you're missing out on all the purchasing yeah, excitement. Know. Right, <clears throat> and air. Air. Yeah, we've got lots of air. And uh, what else have we got in the box? I don't know. Uh, we got some covering. Oh. Black. Black. Mmm, demon covering. Black as night. Yes. And uh, what else we got? We got some more covering. Oh, red. Oh, black and red. That'll pop. My favourite colour. Yeah, I do like that, red. That red cover's really nice. It looks that. like a big stick of rock. Remember, it's only seven quid for five metres, and this is good covering stuff. Yeah. Seven quid for five metres. That's not Brilliant. bad, you know. Um, what else we got? Another red brick. Oh yes, red brick. Yeah. So now we're getting a feeling for what uh, what power this. Uh, Wonder is going to have. That's a 70 amp ESC. Oh, crikey. Uh, servos! Corona, Metal again. Gear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same as on the last one. Yeah, we've settled on them, haven't we? Uh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Helicopter. Yeah. That's coming. And a motor! Oh. Another prop drive. Prop drive. Another prop drive. With all its bits in there. I do like prop drives. And uh, let's oik her out. Yeah. There she is. 3542. Mmm. Yeah, supposedly that'll handle 600 watts. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be slow, is it? 600 watts. 600 watts. 600 watts. 600 watts. Um, yes, so that's good. Uh -huh. more, a bit more. Oh, um, I can see some propellers. Oh, some props. Yeah, um, ten sevens. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, what's this? Uh, this is a uh, something. Nine, 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 something. Nine six. Uh-huh. Uh, two now, different pitches there. Hmm? Mm. Two different pitches. Just a little bit of experimentation. Yep. Um, because you know we're going to be running this 3s and 4s, okay. So we're going to have a nice sort of laid-back setup, yeah. And we're also going to have a uh, turbocharged, a setup. slightly faster setup mm -hmm. on 4s. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yes, so that's what's in the box today. Look at the size of the shaft on that mother. Yeah, six mil. Uh, no, it's five mil. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. But of course, it's got the nice mounting, uh, oh. which I prefer because it runs straighter. Yeah. Um, rather than using the shaft. Yes. Um, so that is quite good. Mm -hmm. So we can now get on with um, drilling the holes in the engine mount. Uh huh. Like that. Yeah. Um, now, what we'll also do, of course, it won't fit. There's your uh, there's your setup. Yeah. As you can see, we've got a bit of a gap there. Yeah. Right, and I've built it, I haven't moved the firewall forward. I didn't right. see any point in that. Mm -hmm. um, I've built it as, as on the drawing. Yeah. So I will be showing you how to um, use an original firewall uh -huh. um, uh, to mount your electric motor. Okay. Uh, which should be fun. So we'll probably come back when we're dicking around with that. Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, that's going to go on there. 
so that gives us a better distance so we're looking at something about like that mm -hmm. so we've got that 20 mil to fill in pretty okay. much yeah yeah got that yeah yeah okay. or a bit less once a time you get that on there mm. um but that is what's going on there um obviously we've got the nose cone here as well mm -hmm. uh oh that's gonna need drilling out that fit. Mm. <laughs> um yeah so uh, back with you when I've worked out what I'm going to do. Okay. Back soon. Bye. Bye. Okay, we've made our motor mount. Yeah. Um, and this is the easiest way to do one. And there it is. So you use four long bolts or screws. Um, you need loads of nuts though. Yeah. But um, it works a treat and it's adjustable. So, you know, if you need to get a bit of side thrust or whatever, you can just tweak your position of these nuts. Bob's your uncle. Hmm. Looks um, like a little rocket. Does look like a little rocket. Yeah. Yeah. So, there you go. That's how you do it, basically. Um, nice and simple. And uh, it saves paying extortionate money for uh, the standoff type versions that you can get. Mm. Um, all you need is four bolts. Uh, Four, eight, sixteen nuts. M4, are they? Yeah, these are M4. We had to mm. drill out the cross uh, to accept M4. Yeah. But apart from that, yeah, brilliant. Um, you know, fairly lightweight. Yeah. It yeah, looks awesome. Yeah, 12 nuts you need. Just 12 kept... nuts. 12 nuts, four bolts. Right. And that's it, yeah. Anyway, so that will then fit perfect so if we put that on there like that. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Awesome. Yeah. And then onto the front there like that. Just drop her in. Oh, yeah. And that is our. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, see, 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 see. Mm. Uh, that's it. So. Um, yeah, we can now glue. Well, actually, no, we've got to make some more holes in here because uh, we've got to get wires through and stuff. Oh, but, yeah, for the ESC. Uh, and for the ESC, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. But apart from that, that's done. Next thing is to get the ESC in. ESC is going to mount in the bottom. Okay, which um, is over here. Yeah, if you remember in that, uh, that other video we did, um, it was probably on, um, on the J3, wasn't it? Where we cut away the. Um, Oh, the heat, the the heat, heat shrink, shrink to yeah. allow the heat sink to see the light. Yeah, so if you look, you can see there's a heat sink under there. You can just see the ridges of it. Yeah. So what we will do is we will cut that out again mm -hmm. so that the heat sink is showing. Yeah. And then we will mount that in the bottom here. We'll have a cutout uh -huh. that will exactly accept that. Yeah. I think. That would be perfect. Yeah, and then <clears throat> that will get the airflow over the... Uh, Mm. Over the ESC. Okay. Uh, that will save having to you know, get a lot of air through the fuselage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, plus it'll be protected as well because what we'll do is we'll cut a square out, drop that through, yeah. and then this is going to sit over it like that as well. Okay. Yeah, once it's all in there. So it'll be sort of protected in there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. And once we've done that, we'll be back with you. Right. <laughs> we have been not, busy. I thought he was going to say not been idle. <laughs> <laughs> so you go away for a bit, mate, and you're out of practice. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am. So, here we go. This is what we've got so far. So, motor's in. That's all glued in now. Roughly in the right position. We can adjust the um, side thrust and stuff by just adjusting these nuts. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. ESC is in. Uh -huh. That is where the ESC is going, like that. Um, that's going to get nicely cooled. Yeah. Um, it might need it. Mm. Um, yeah, wings done. We've got the wing bolts in. We've got the mounting for the wing bolts in there. We've done the front um, dowels as well. Um, we strengthened up the mounting at the front. For those wing dowels slightly mm -hmm. uh, you can't see it but it, it is uh, so yes it's coming together the bits are falling into place they are uh, it's gonna look sick as Colin would say yeah um, obviously we've got to do the wood on the front here 
on the original um this is all cut out this top part yeah you know for the for the engine i'm going to enclose it pretty much um yes i think going to enclose it maybe have a something or other i don't know yet but i want it to look nice and sleek so it's going to be pretty much hmm. um uh, in field so yeah we don't really need any big holes through the firewall for cooling mm -hmm. no because air cooling is there yeah let's just have another look yeah at that. Nice. and now i have heard a story that um uh, when you get a lot of air into these fuselages they they tend to pop open mm. um you know at high speed so yeah. uh once one of the reasons why that's gone on the outside so we don't get airflow through the fuselage that yeah. causes the whole thing to explode. Right. <laughs> in, uh, uh, yeah, you don't want that really, do Yeah, that uh, would look quite nasty, wouldn't it? You can tell the guys um, what the max speed spec is on a 4S. Uh, uh, okay, maybe. Uh, um, possibly, um, possibly around 130-ish. We'll see. Wow. Um, that's sort of theoretical so hmm. but yeah i mean you know 120 would be nice wouldn't it oh. i know i know perry wants like you know supersonic speeds oh yeah but i can't afford a turbine <laughs> 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 yeah. and uh, where's old ian's picture is that ian's picture no that was paul s wasn't it i don't know paul slade that no, was paul slade that smashed up his turbine oh yeah he's, he's, yeah. he's uh yeah <laughs> oh there he is let's have a, another look at that yeah, oh, there we, it is, we, yeah. We don't want that kind of pain. No. <laughs> no, he must have uh, been going some. Yeah. yeah. But... Yes, so, uh, yes, that is where we are. Um, a good day's work, really, would you yeah. say there, Mad Colin? Yeah, I've enjoyed today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, awesome. we're well, not used to this stuff, are you? Yeah. No, a bit of precision. Plane building, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> was, there was a lot of precision engineering went on today, wasn't there? <laughs> there was, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and surprisingly enough, it all fitted together. Yeah, I know, Colin it. was high-fiving every time a bit fitted together. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I thought, Christ, does that fit? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah how does that work? Yeah. So, <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I mean, horizontal stabiliser to do. And, and that's pretty much it. Oh, we've got to get the aileron um, cranks on there. Oh, yeah. Uh, these, these have got to go on. Yeah, um, I'm only see. using one servo. I'm not doing separate servos in the wing. I don't see any need for it. Um, the ailerons are so small. There's not going to be that much load on them. So these things will get glued onto here. And that's the last thing we're going to do today, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then we're going to uh, call it a day. So we'll be back with you once we've got these little babies glued in. Okay. Which shouldn't take long. No, it shouldn't do, should it? No, it shouldn't do. No, with our precision. With air precision, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Back soon. Yep, bye. Okay. Mm. It's dark outside. Yes, look. Yeah, it's a very dark. It's pitch black. It is pitch black. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much done for the day. Mm. Uh, we've got the old um, torque rods in there. Yep. Yeah, so that's all uh, glued up, ready. Um, here is their bodification for the, um, the wing dowels. Yeah, uh, we wanted to strengthen it up a bit. So we used the original wing mounting plate here mm -hmm. as an extra strengthener on the wing rather than in the fuselage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we filled it in with epoxy just to make that nice and strong there. Yeah, and then on the fuselage, we, um, we made a new plate in here uh, and it's about twice the thickness of the original as well yeah because um, they also had a tendency to fail here and this is never going to fail that ain't going to break no that ain't going to break um what ESC else do we do in? yeah esc yeah esc is just going to be held in by a bit of wood over it like that yeah as you can see down in there let's go in there and have a look yeah there it is yeah that's how that's going to hold in that hole yeah, it looks neat. Yeah. Um, we used um, blind nuts, not blind nuts, um, whatever they're called, those thingy nut things, yeah, to, because um, uh, uh, in, in instructions it tells you to tap this bit of wood. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we didn't have, uh, whatever it is, a 1032 tap mm. for their wing bolts, so we used those um, spiky nut things. 
Yeah, they are blind nuts, aren't they? Yeah, or something like that. Mm. Um, yeah, um, put them into the wood, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, uh, it's coming together. Uh, mm. So the next thing, uh, apart from doing the tail, mm -hmm. getting the servo in here, mm. um, is to get this front all wooded out. Yeah, and nice and sexy and sleek so that it, it comes into this into this uh, nose cone. Yeah, that's going to look awesome. Mmm. A bit of a wobblage going on there. Mm. Might be the spinner. Uh, yeah, I think it is a spinner. But it's not done up tight anyway. Mm. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's coming together. We're, we're not far off covering. Mm. Mm, probably have all the woodwork done tomorrow, mm -hmm. I would have thought. And then, yeah, covering and uh, test flying. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be two setups for this, if I didn't say earlier. It's going to have a 3S option and a 4S option. Hmm. So, tame and ballistic. Yeah, 130 mile an hour and um, 80 mile an hour, 80 maybe. Mile an hour, maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, so it should be good, really. Um, let's see what happens. Hopefully we'll get some, some weather to be able to fly it as well. But hmm. I can't see it not being ready for the weekend. Hmm. Um at some point so it could be a maiden at the weekend yeah we'll uh we'll have to see won't we hmm uh, who knows so that's it uh we're calling it a day so uh it's goodbye from mag colin there yeah and it's goodbye from captain rob don't forget to like and subscribe yeah like patreon. subscribe patreon don't forget patreon yeah yeah um, and uh, if you want to email us, it's at the end of Colin's finger. There it is. <laughs> and we have a Facebook page as well. Oh yeah, don't forget Facebook, there are people on there. And keep the uh, pictures coming in, because uh, when we get some ink for the printer, they'll appear on the wall behind Oh yes, pictures, Rob. pictures, yes, yes, we've got to get some more pictures up. Some more female pictures. Yeah. Everybody in stockings and sussers, I believe. Holding a plane. Yes. Well, holding, yeah. <laughs> 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 mm. Yes, anyway, enough about that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> See you all tomorrow. Yep. Cheers then. Cheers. Be safe. Bye. Yeah. Bye.